even though the cultures are different, the business cultures and the political cultures are very different, a lot of things are remarkably similar. The civil cases are stretching back to 2000 and just sitting in limbo. I have a case personally that has 201 docket entries and not a single hearing to address any of them. They're able to continue to act with impunity and really do things in broad daylight and not care about the consequences. What I feel is happening is that there is systemic corruption within the legal system um, that allowed Epstein to operate for as long as he did. <laughs> the um, legal system vulnerabilities, these inherent vulnerabilities make it acceptable to influence and manipulate powerful entities or, or the system by powerful entities. Uh, it's very unlikely that Epstein and Ghislaine alone uh, were the only people who had that blackmail information. That's not how criminal schemes at that level work. If the system is corrupt, then it shouldn't be surprising that he would not use the single most effective prosecutorial tool against a criminal conspiracy. Justice delayed is justice denied. I would recommend breaking this down into different components and tackling each of them separately because this is not one case. This is a system, and you can't tackle everything all at once. You don't want human traffickers getting away with crimes. You don't want fraudulent billionaires infiltrating the ranks of their decision makers and essentially blackmailing them into following policies that are damaging to this country's interests. You don't always have to drag everyone into dirt. You can give them an option of cooperating yeah. or giving you the information that you need to go after the real bad guys. Criminals protect themselves using the best resources they have to do when they build up institutions, but they're not perfect people. They make mistakes, and these mistakes eventually become their undoing. You may have heard of the so-called Pegasus Project, a campaign against a software, not against human rights violations, but against a software. Think about it. Software has no agency any more than a gun has an agency or a knife. If you look at the evidence, of the allegations, you will see that there's no transparency. They will give you huge numbers and generic allegations, but they will not give you the names of the victims. But when there's a, a very specific target, it's very easy to come together against that. Uh, the problem with all these wars you've been speaking to is, it seems to me, it's not that they can't help, it's that they don't want to get involved in something that could potentially backfire, that could be risky, reputational, or otherwise, they don't want to get involved with looking at these corrupt organizations. The Pegasus issue is a big one for me because it touches on very many of the same issues, and quite frankly, many of the same threat actors are involved. Um, not all surveillance is bad. It's only bad as it's if it's misdirected at regular people when normal life is criminalized, but it's not bad when you're targeting human traffickers terrorists, there is this misunderstanding that all Russia is just Putin and Kremlin. That's not the case. There are many people with different concerns and interests. This is a singular, unequivocal human atrocity that is comparable to some of the worst disasters and uh, human rights abuses and uh, warmongering over the 20th century. It's a classic scenario where there is an external invader who in ignoring all international laws and norms and in, engages in a, in a completely unjustified illegal war, lies about it, and destroys civilians, not just military targets. We are trying to fight something that has enormous potential to destroy. Uh, we've seen this. We're seeing Chinese and Russian vessels uh, near U.S. states. That's never happened before. And all of a sudden, we are seeing incursions into our territory. If we enable them, we give them one inch anywhere, they will come not just for the hand, but for our heads. Grab life by the horns and keep inspiring others.